Unconditional love doesn't mean unconditional tolerance. As infinite being, truly you have abundance, unconditional and infinite eternal love. You can give and share to others. To be loved and to be loved is an infinite gift that makes this life truly alive. Everything is love. We are all love. We are all love in different forms. But at some points, at some period in your self-transformation, in your transcendent journey, we not only need the unconditional love, we also need limitations to help us evolve into a greater quality of love, into a greater quality of consciousness. Hello universe, beautiful soul, light beings, blessings to you wherever you are. Today, we are back and in this episode, let's dive into to how to love unconditionally and still stand strong grounded in your boundaries as that said let's dive into it Many of us have an unhealthy models of love such as possession, attachment, abuse, etc. All that is connected with lower vibration energy. That's why you are suffer more in that relationship or when you connect to that type of love you think you deserve. If you have these programs, you might end up putting up with unacceptable treatments because to you, that kind of love is the normal reality. But that's not the unconditional love means. You cannot control someone's toxic behavior or lower vibrational energy that they keep broadcasting. But you can control how long you participate in those type of love or energy. The only way to heal the program is to end the cycle. It's a powerful signal and catalyst for evolution of consciousness, for the elevation of your soul or the activation of your DNA. It's an invitation not only for them but for you as well to step deeper into your divine nature and higher being. Remember that everything, the reality that we experience is the product of our choice and collectively every soul are experiencing various age of soul or level of consciousness so remember that it's not your job to fix and save everyone it's your job to be responsible with your own self and to tap into your core or your divine nature divine consciousness so you can meet the reflection of your divinity in others and work together for the greater good collectively i will also share with you in more practical way about unconditional love and stand strong in your boundaries so let's dive in the first one is to realize that the essence of your presence itself or your existence in physical reality itself is unconditional love basically. So you have an infinite amount or abundant love that you are because it's your core. What you really are is love itself. So basically the love itself is already encoded in your DNA, in you, in your entire universe. But because one of consequence to enter physical realm is by experiencing forgetfulness or the erasement of memory of your previous incarnations and filled with new progress based on the catalyst or soul lesson and divine mission that you signed up for in this lifetime you experience now. For all, there's no such thing as goodbye. Every goodbye is just a new cycle for love to evolve, to experiencing another opportunity, potentiality, possibility, and explore multi-dimensionality. So realize that the energy of unconditional love itself is already you and it's already encoded in all of your entire universe. In order to tap back and merge into what you really are and become one with what you really are, you need to unlearn 
learning all the programs that no longer resonates with you so that the soul can appear so universe can operate based on the guide of your heart and your soul once you tune into that you are more activated by your intuition by the guide of higher realms higher power higher guidance rather than caught up in your own level of thinking in your own comprehension because the unconditional love is only limited by your own comprehension your own perspective it's not about the unconditional love itself that we need to cultivate that we need to attain because it's already within you it's already within all of us it's just about how we develop our perception how we tap back into what we really are which is through releasing what aren't really you the more self-knowledge you develop and the more you lose the illusion of you or all the programs that not really serving you you can open your eyes with all your physical senses experiencing divinity pure consciousness everything is all just oneness it's all that you are all that you have all that you do all that you be it's your entire being it's our perception or how we see reality itself that limit ourselves to the unconditional love that we are such as lower vibrations attachment most of programs in the collective is based on attachment because attachment is so gravitated on all of us doesn't mean it's bad it's just the more we attach to something the more we suffer but the more we let go the attachment of the unconditional love of the love itself we can then experiencing what true love really is what pure love really is what we truly are our pure essence before all the program were installed to us paradoxically the more you love yourself the more you also love the collective because as you work on yourself you detach yourself from all the attachment of love the illusion and meet your divinity you can access not only your divine self but also your divine power and divine purpose that will serve the greater good for the collective or you can call it as higher purpose you then start to have higher purpose a meaningful life something that inspires you to experience what truly a life really is and you simply is you experience the interconnectedness of universe so it's all start with your self-love the more you love yourself the more magnetized your energy become the more magnetized your energy become the more you be clear about your boundaries and this is what most people don't clear about setting boundaries setting boundaries is not based on your thinking or logical mind it's a natural process that will unfold itself as you love yourself when you love yourself you will do healing you will focus on your growth you'll focus on what really serving you so that you will naturally listen to your body because your body is constantly communicating with you it's just your perception your consciousness about the communication itself that you need to attune as you heal yourself the more your body recognizes energy that resonates with your entire being that supporting your best your body will become your natural guidance because you already activating your dna after you do the inner work needed as a reminder that it's a continuous journey you experience along your life imagine if higher self experiencing all the infinite possibilities that means this life itself is like the infinite amount of birth and death your body holds wisdom beyond what you realize or beyond your comprehension beyond your perspective beyond your level of consciousness healing is liberating and allowing your body allowing the wisdom to assist your alignment journey your empathy your sensitivity with energy telepathy psychic ability multidimensionality and synchronicity our natural feedbacks or fruitations that unfolds or increase from the inner work you've done on 
yourself the more open honest and vulnerable you are to yourself and be cooperative with yourself the more you invite all the resonate with you at all levels for your highest good and the highest good of all the more it lead you to another step of healing and the more you heal the more you can hear your inner guidance from your body your soul and your heart your mind will be the divine instruments that help you cooperate from and throughout your entire body your body your physical body is your home in this physical realm but you have multiple layers of bodies and each body that you experience resonate with the realm for example your physical body resonate with your physical realm your mind resonate with your mental realm your emotion resonate with your energy realm and so your soul also resonate with spirit realm and so on and so forth all that you need is already within you but the point of your infinite experience is to remember what you really are to know thyself and radiate the essence of your experience Imagine that boundaries is a natural product of healing. It's not something that you create by your own mind. It's just happened naturally because what meant for you will flow naturally for you and your inner guidance will constantly communicating with you. What you need to develop is your ability to listen, to truly listen to your inner guidance through self-healing through increase your self-awareness expand your consciousness to love yourself more work on yourself work on your inner work to release the program that not really serving you and install all the benefits all that supporting your highest good so that you can understand others better after you understand yourself you see that the journey is never end with you it always correlates so remember how powerful and impactful what you really are once you remember that you instantly can tap into what you really are and you can naturally embody that frequency of what you truly are you can start practice to listen to your body start from asking a simple question because all well, usually is so simple it's just our mind that cannot comprehend it yet so that our mind interpret it as complexity we need to do this we need to collect this first we need to grab this we need to understand this we need to this this this, this, this and that but mostly our intuition knows that's why it sends message through couple or pieces of information through intuitive information so you need to decode so that you can understand what it truly guide you for where it truly guide you what it truly means that you need to accomplish and you can simply practice by asking is it a yes or no basically you already know what truly meant for you it's just our mind that cannot comprehend it yet because it isn't there yet it isn't has the memory of it yet that's why our soul is walking backward while we are experiencing this physical reality our physical plane and when the answer is no usually our mind try to clarify justify or to find a lot of excuses or reasons that will make sense for you to believe because your mind is based on the memory that it has in the past that has programmed to you so your mind will always trying to find a match with your memory from your past but your soul will always guiding you from the future that's why your mind cannot comprehend it yet that's why your higher self knows beyond what you think you know and when you follow your intuition it will all make sense at the end or after you follow the intuition not before that before that 
your mind that will keep playing its role and tell you that oh this is you should be here you should do this you should be here or maybe you should do that and so on but once you practice mindfulness you can then position your mind as the portal of higher guidance of your intuition rather than listen to the old programs or past programs that not really serving you so that's all the tips from me today feel free to ask whatever you need to ask be more specific with your body your body composed by the dna the codes beyond time and space you can access directly especially if you know how to access your acoustic records the i share in my access acoustic records course in there i share about dna about intuition how to open up yourself as portal for your higher self for the intuition for activating your dna how to ask the right question how to understand what intuition really is how to to work with your intuition and what this all is about that also connected with these episodes if you feel resonate with this you can simply click the link down below you can find one of my services called access acoustic records course that of course freeing you and letting you serve your higher purpose so that's all for this episode see you again in upcoming episodes with me Cindy Acho sending so much love blessings peace and joy and innermost bliss for you to radiate back to the universe love you